Grief comes because of the death of a loved one, a divorce, a job, a lamb, a pet. We grieve over the loss of someone or something and our heart aches. How long will it take to stop crying, sobbing without tears, suffering in silence? The void and the loneliness is so strong because we had to let it go when we were never prepared to let go. So we may find ourselves on the verge of depression, stress, and anxiety. What are we supposed to do during our time of grief? Seek help. You are not alone. Tell the Lord all about your grieving. Seek a biblical counselor. Talk with friends. Take walks. Eat healthy and exercise. Talk to your doctor about it. Grief is not easy. It's a loss. It's a void that you feel deep down inside of your soul. During your time of mourning, you will experience five stages of grief. You'll experience denial. You may feel numb and be in disbelief. Anger. You may be angry with God, pissed off because your loved one has left you. You may even be angry by blaming anyone and even yourself. You may experience bargaining. You look for a shred of hope that the loss can be reversed. Somehow, you may even begin to try to negotiate with God or a spiritual being. You may also experience depression where you fall into a deep sadness. You lack interest in socializing and doing hobbies. You begin to feel numb and you begin to withdraw. But then comes this acceptance when you begin to come to terms with the loss and you begin to make peace with the situation. Grief is never easy. And no one can tell you how long the grief will take place. But as scripture reminds us, it tells us not to stay in continual mourning. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 4. Scripture goes on to tell us that weeping may stay for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. God is with us even in the valley of the shadow of death. Death is not the end for those that are in Christ and that our mourning is temporary. To everything is a season, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. To everything there is a season, a time to every purpose under heaven. The Lord says, I am the resurrection and the life. That's what he said. And we need to believe that, that we'll, we will rise again. Lord, we love you so much. And we believe in your word. Especially in our time 
of grief. Because we can always talk to you through prayer, through our tears, through our loneliness. Lord, we know that you are with us and we thank you. But once again, what can you do while you're mourning? Talk to God. Let him know all about your sorrow and your pain. Go for walks, exercise, eat healthy. Draw closer and near to the Lord, and he will draw near to you. Amen.